We're given a series and asked to uh, tell whether it converges or diverges. And we're going to use the comparison test. Uh, if you see it, we've got 4 over, each, the general term looks like 4 over 2m plus m. And if we just kind of ignore this m, then that would be a geometric series. It will be four times uh, the geometric series with x equals 1 half. Uh, and also without the constant term, but we can adjust for that. So since we know what that series does, let's just try to compare it. So we have the sum from m equals 1 to infinity. Uh, let's factor the 4 out of 1 over uh, 2m plus m. And it will compare it to 4 times uh, the sum from m equals 1 to infinity of 1 over, or 1 half, To the m. And let's see what we're doing here. We're essentially just from each term we're removing uh, the m from the denominator. And m is always positive, so we're making the denominator smaller, which is going to make this term bigger. So get a less than or equal to sign. All right, this is almost a geometric series, but not quite. Um, the reason I say not quite is because uh, this is going to start with one half to the first power, not one half to the zero power. But we can adjust for that by writing four times uh, the sum from m equals zero to infinity. So actually writing it as a geometric series and um, subtracting off that term that we just added. So, which is just one. So since we're comparing it to this, we'd like to be able to say that this converges because if you know have two series and either, say the mth term of one is less than or equal to the mth term of the second, and the second converges, well then the first also has to converge. Uh, of course, by the comparison test. So we use this formula for the sum of a geometric, or geometric series, which is one over uh, one minus uh, one half. Um, of course, this only works if um, the very, or if the number that we're um, Exponentiating is less than one, or has absolute value less than one. It could be negative, and this is equal to four times oh, one over. Oh, let's see, one minus one half is one half, so one over one half is two uh, minus one, and we just get four. So four is what this converges to, but since we know that um, this the term of uh, you know, the sequence we're really interested in, so we'll call this um, sum of the uh, a sub m. Uh, since we know that this is less than or equal to the sum of the b sub m, um, where the sum goes over the appropriate indices, we can say that this one actually converges. So a sub m converges. Uh, by the comparison test. 